Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche. Today we shall pet scraps. I've decided I'll pet like a different pet every day. I'll probably change that. Because you know what I'm like. Two. Three. Oh yeah, we're back down to three pets. I'll try and get that back as soon as possible, but like I said, I think the fighting stuff is going to be important for a little bit, so we'll, uh, we've got a little bit of a compromise going on. Oh, everyone's decided to just let themselves loose from the stable, I see. We're, we're like, we're like freestyling it. Okay, let's have a look at this uh, mail. Civil Corps, hello builder, we've completed your commission for delicate fur. Thank you very much. I maybe should get another one as well, Go get some more going. I don't know. How much money do I have? Like 150,000 gold. Hmm. So that's enough to upgrade my house plus a little bit extra. Yeah, that's probably all right. So we're going to go get a commission and then we're going to have a look at the how much of the composite board has been made. Oh, and go on a date apparently. Going on a date with Dr. Zhu again, are we? I see. Why are there only three commissions today? Wooden pillars, insulated plant box, copper coil. I'm going to take the insulated plant box. And the reason why is I need points with Alice way more than I need points with Paulie. And I should be far enough ahead of Higgins. Someone said that the, um, the reward for doing the hard quest is like just exactly the same as doing the easy quest. I'm very disappointed with that, by the way. Hey, uh, filling up this museum is actually helping my social incredibly uh, well, to be honest. Buy my lamps. 40 grand's worth of lamps again. Sonia's really rich. She's bought like 150 grand's worth of lamps off me in the last three days. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look for this uh, insulated planter box and I'll go and see what's going on with these uh, these boards if I've if I put them on. I can't remember if I put them on at the end of last episode. I think I did. So we'll go and check and make sure that it hasn't like run out of hardwood again because that seemed to be a thing for some reason. No, we have them. We do have them. Fantastic. Actually, I'll grab the rest. Why not? It's actually reasonably i might sell the ball bearings if i if i swing past because it's a reasonably good um i was gonna say yeah it's a, it's a reasonably good uh sell price at the moment it's not too bad i'm so happy to have all my delicate fur it's really good let's do a quick sort there I wish I knew what this dragon heart was. I mean, it's 15 a piece. That's not too bad for a start. Um, I could put the relics away as well. Just try and keep things a bit tidy. Okay. So I've got everything for my pathway that I need. Uh, so how do I make an insulated planter box is the next thing. Uh, with cultivated soil from the blender and mucus that I seem to have not... Why have I only got one piece of mucus in the whole place? I could do with some more of that. Oh dear. Maybe I should get the civil core to, to dig me some up. Um, so let's make cultivated soil then. In the blender. I have to kill a ladybug on the way past or something. Luckily they only want one, so that's fine. Cultivated soil. In the blender, I want five. I need some animal bones. I have quite a few, actually. And we'll just let that go over the next four or five hours. And then... Okay, so let's go and uh, sort the bridge out now, I think. Oh no, actually, when's my date? My date's in an hour or so. Let's, we'll have to go on the date first and do the bridge later. Uh, so, what would you... Oh yeah, it's going to be in the town centre, isn't it? In the town square. So I'll just sit and wait for that. 
I don't know what we're going to do. Dates won't be as long anymore because I don't have as many uh, big player points anymore. So we have as much to do. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Where are you? You said in the town square. Oh, is it this town square? Might be this one. Yeah. All right. There's going to be lots of seesawing, I guess. Dating starts. There's some place you want to go. Now, we haven't gone out as lovers. Oh, we can do the hot tub if we're lovers. Oh, I'm going to do that. Let's go in the hot tub. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put away my chainsaw though, sorry. Well, I knew that that was coming in with a patch, but I didn't know what kind of relationship I had to have to do it. So yeah, date in the hot tub. I wanna see how this goes. Whoops. Okay, so. Check, check, no. Where's he gone? Doctor Ju. Oh, he's behind me. Okay. Um. How do we get this to work then? Because it's. Oh, here we are. Since we're here, how about we soak in the hot spring to relax? Sure. Sure. Three hundred coins is nothing to me. Ah, me and Doctor Zhu in the hot tub together. How so cute! That was seventeen points. That's not too bad. We're only allowed to do one a day, though. Yeah, looks like it. I don't know. Maybe we could do more. Just keep paying three hundred coins. If it gives me 17, that's actually not bad. I might want to go and do some seesawing or something in a minute, though. This is an expensive date, Dr. Zhu. This is a very expensive date. Okay, stop asking me. <laughs> oh. That worked better. Okay, we're going to go back to the wishing tree and stuff. Um, light the fireworks, doodle, chat, we could chat amongst the grass. So there might be new, there might be new dialogue options in everything though. So it would be nice to have dialogue in the hot tub, but that might be a bit much to ask. Let's sit under the wishing tree, see if you've got anything else to say to me. Sure. So we can hold hands, put arm around waist and things like that. I can't remember if we could do those before. What should I say? Casual talk. We've seen that one a million times if we've seen it once. Put arm around waist. What should I say? Casual talk. Seaside by boat. Rest on my lap. What type of gifts do you like? In addition to herbs, I like small accessories. Mm. Compliment. You're really popular here in Porsche. I I plan to retire here, so this is my community now. Again, these things we have gone through them before. You're keeping everyone as healthy as can be, just just doing my job. But I don't know how many of you will have seen that, so try to. I went to Seaside by boat. It was an eye-opening experience. The silk, the jade, the food. It was all amazing. Oh yeah. That's us at 71, so we'll sit back down and get him to sit back down again. And we can casual talk again, we can hold hands again, we can do whatever. I think it's really cute when we're on the bench, like, hugging. Aww. Sheila, we're having such a nice time. Okay, so we got to nearly 100 there. 27 extra relationship. 
awesome. That wasn't too bad, uh, too long a date either. Cost me a bit of money though. <laughs> Good job, I made loads. Okay, so let's have a quick look how we're doing with Dr. Zhu now. He's my lover, which is equivalent to best friend. We're getting right up there with him, so that's great. Phyllis is also my best friend. Carol's also my best friend. May is also my best friend. Whose name I've only just learned how to say. I probably have, like... Jewelry boxes for them, anyway. Anybody's birthday today? Anton's rats. Taking some roses, I guess. I've got roses in my inventory. I know he likes them, so yeah, I do. A satchel would be better. I don't have time to make one right now. So roses for your birthday, Anton. Does Anton get his birthday off? Oh no. Where's he gone? Okay, we'll have to look on the map and see if I can find him. He might ha oh, he might be having lunch in Django's, actually. that's he's, I think he has lunch in Django's. Like, I think. You can see where all the Hulus are. This is their normal places. Liu was normal place. Q was normal place. Wu was normal place. She was normal place. Sam was normal place, Oh, was normal place. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Who are we missing? Dawa will be at the tree farm. So that's where they'll be normally. Just in case anyone wondered. Uh, but Anton, I'm going to go look in Django's for, because I can't see him on the map, which makes me think he's in a building. And the building he's most likely to be in at this time of day is having lunch in here. Once we give Anton, sorry, yeah, Anton his birthday present. See, he has lunch with uh, Sonia and Emily, so I'm gonna gate crash it. There's some roses for your birthday. Yay, this is so wonderful. I could have had 90 points with him if I had made a satchel, but I am lazy. He's not doing too bad, anyway. Not doing too bad. I'll show you. So I don't think we need to put too much effort into uh, Anton. He's a, he's already my friend. He's already right up there. You know, he loves roses, loves satchels. We gave him some roses. Satchels would have been better. Okay. Now let's head over to the tree farm. I'll just ride. Whispers really fast, so I may as well just ride. With all my stuff and we'll build this bridge. And then when I get home at night, I'll be able to like, do the insulated planter box and everything. Hello, Dawa, how are you? Uh, I'm not going to give everyone presents. And the time and a place to give everyone presents. I probably, like, when I do a do-over of this, because the game is not going to be limiting me by lack of content, lack of, like, main story content into doing things like social and stuff, I will have to play it at a slower place and purposely play it at a slower pace there will be times where i'll have to race higgins so that those times i will be really really fast when there's something that will be like yeah you could do this or you could not do it for a little while i'll be like okay now it's time to do a bit of social bit of getting everybody uh on my side bit of digging up relics all that sort of thing because relics are really useful for social, so that's something I'll try and do early on, if I can, as soon as I've built the museum. Okay, well that looks like a bit of a bodge job, but it'll do. We're across. Go and tell Ursula. No, I didn't tell Ursula. I'm going to be like, what's this? What's this? I bet this is in a new ruins. So where am I? I'm across here now. Is there anything good looking across here? Not really. All looks a bit boring, honestly. So I guess I guess we'll probably just want to go back to Ursula, honestly. Rather than running around a place that's completely devoid of life and empty. 
that's kind of what this looks like. Just lots of frogs and strawberries, but I imagine this is going to turn into something once I've talked to, to Ursula, so let's get back. So I'm going to be very interested in that. That's actually a cool bridge though. How do I get back across this bridge? Okay, it's a little bit of a tricksy one, this one. Oh, okay, I'm there, I'm there. A little ride to go and tell Ursula about all of this. I don't, she might even be like over in the desert or something, which is as far, far away as she could possibly be. But I am really hoping that there'll be some cool dungeons and stuff to do now. You know I'm not taking pictures of that bridge. You know I'm going to put the thumb... The thumbnail will be my hot date with Dr. Zhu in the hot tub. 100%. So that is a game mechanic we have never seen before. It's two people in a hot, a hot tub. Why can't I say hot tub? A pop... <laughs> so I kind of weird I can't say hot tub. Me. Okay, so uh, Dawa, I think I do have presents for you. I'm not sure if I have one for Adit though. Oh, I don't. Oh, sorry then, dude. He's nearly my bestie anyway. I stopped giving presents once they're my bestie. I bet I have a pumpkin pie, though. I, it is too good to eat. You've got to keep it until it goes off. That's the rules. Okay, where's that Ursula then? Oh my goodness, she's like as far in the desert as she could possibly be. Let's go via Dee Dee. Go find her. Water for hydration is good. It's nice to be riding Whisper for a bit today. I've been riding Jessica a lot lately. Misty Truth needs more love though. All the routes have been completed? Good, I'll have someone check them out right away. The Mayor's Office will compensate you for your work. In the meantime, we have an issue with the Tree Farm Ruins. Oh. Tree Farm Ruins. We've been diving that room for the first key this entire time, blasting away at some of the doors and finding shortcuts through other passages, but the core's area is protected by an impenetrable blast gate. I need you to take a look and come up with a solution. Okay. I'm busy at the moment, no. Ten is guarding the entrance to prevent the knight from getting in. He'll guide you inside. I'd suggest you equip yourself, it's still very dangerous in there. Okay, this sounds amazing. Compensation from Gale. So let's go find Mayor Gale and then hopefully we will be given the uh, commission to go and check out those tree farm ruins. So that's the one ruin that we could get to that we thought they'd be in. Wow, all these cool ruins going to be opening up for me. I'm really happy with this. Rider. So there's Ten and Rider and Ursula. Wee! Wee! Right, let's have a look where Mayor Gale is right now. Hopefully somewhere that I can access him, but probably not at this time of night. Probably in his house. In his house. Yeah, I'm not seeing him, and his house normally isn't open past, like, 8 o'clock. So that really sucks. Okay, so I think we should work on the insulated planter box in that case. Oh, I need to go get some mucus. Mm. We need to go kill some ladybirds, Whisper. I, I know you don't like it. It's, it's, it has to be done though, okay? The fact is as well, I don't know how, how early in the game that commission board comes up. 
but it does mean that people that aren't interested in combat can get around the combat and that's actually quite nice because I know there's some people that really want to play this as a completely pacifist game they don't want to kill the llamas they don't want to do any of that and they don't have to they can just go mining and then not bother grinding on the mobs just pay for it instead I don't know whether that's gonna that would be a better way around. I mean, I suppose you're always using your time for something to make money, so you're just exchanging it. Just do more mining or, or something else. Okay, so... I imagine most people would want to at least go through each of the ruins once. Got the mucus, got the planter boxes. But what I need is my cultivated soil. Fabulous, it's all done. I'm getting loads of ropes as well, because I always seem to be like coming across things that need wooden pillars and that always needs ropes, so I thought I'd make a few. As those of you who watched that particular episode will know, uh, let's have a little look and see if we can hand this in now. So, Road to the Marsh, the first key. Oh goodness me, there's all sorts of things that have popped up now. I'll have to have a look for them in the morning, I think. I could try and have a look for them now, but I think that that, that is possibly um, in Mayor Gale's house, because that's Mayor Gale probably that I've got to speak to there. I could try and go into the ruins of the logging yard. I don't know if I need to speak to the mayor first, so we'll maybe speak to the mayor tomorrow and see. Um, okay, insulated plant. I haven't made it. Making it would be a really good thing. Okay, so that would be why I didn't see who it was going to. So that's going to Alice. It's just over there. Which must be like by her shop or something. Ah, ah. Never let me drive, eh? See, her her garden is quite pretty in the spring, but still. I think she deserves somewhere better than that. Is she up here, then? Or does she, like, does she live inside the bridge or something? Ugh. She's literally saying, it's literally saying she's like here by her garden, but she is not. Is this her house? Ah, right, okay. I can't hand it in right now. I'll hand it in in the morning then. First thing in the morning. It is 1 a.m. now, so I'll probably just go to bed, I think. I'm not going to bother trying to find soldier relics when I've only got like an hour or so left. And there's interesting things to do on the morrow, so we may as well just get them started, I would say. I don't think it's anyone's birthday tomorrow, but we are getting ever closer to the fishing festival. That's going to be next episode. Cool. Because that was put in in the last patch, but I never got round the full year. Or maybe even the patch. No, I think it was Starlight Island patch it got put in. And I never got round the full year to do it, so. Right, number one thing. Let's go and visit Alice's store. Look at all these people coming to see me. Wow. Oh, there's Alice. There's your plant box. And she gave me 26 reputation points, which is the main thing I'm worried about right now, is reputation points. And then we'll go pick up a commission. And then we'll go and see Mayor Gale. Oh yeah, there are two different ones. Enter the ruin and compensation from Gale, but we'll do them both today. I don't know if I would have been allowed enough hours to get through if it's a, a ruin dive. So four aluminium plates, which I could do straight away. Two leather belts, which I would need to make. 
Three waterproof lamps. 1300. Yeah, aluminium plates all the way, I think, on that one. It's, uh, getting some points with Mars is going to be really good as well, because I don't have many points with him. I don't really even know what he likes particularly. I've not just not done much with him, that's all. I actually have them on me, which is amazing. Where are you, Mars? Coming out of your house still. You're in your house still. No, it's not in his house. Having a wander in the gardens outside. There we are. Lovely. Uh, Jack, do you want some lemonade? I just give people things as they're wandering around if I can. Lemonade will be like on a do-over of this. Lemonade will be one of the first things I just grab loads of. I mean, I know people are saying make it out of lemons, but that will be the first thing I'm grabbing a load of to make friends. Mm. Okay, let's go to the Mayor Gale and see if we can get my reward, which won't be as much as selling on my desk lamps. Clearly, it was a good use of my sand though. Ah, thank you so much for helping with the roots. I was planning to build them for the city soon anyway, so this is working out. How's the work with the recovery team? They're a little bit rough around the edges if you ask me, and the captain doesn't tell me much. Um, I'm going to go. She's very bossy. Oh, I know. I tried to get more information about her through Atara, since I haven't heard of her before, but the only reply I got was that she's one of their top soldiers, so get along with her. Okay. Oh, I got new jacket and pants. Look at me go. I don't know what hat I'm going to get, but... Now that looks like a more swanky version of what I've got on now, doesn't it? It is level 45 gear as well. It's recorded that the first settlers that came out to the Free Cities area wore something similar. Ever since that... Ever since this... Ever since that this, this has been the go-to style for adventurers. Defense 280. What have I got on this one? 220. So this is 280. Um, stamina plus 50. Nice. The pants. Made of tough but comfortable materials. Perfect for an adventure. 280 and 50. Whereas these are 220 and 45. Again. So I think we're getting some new pants. Well, that's actually pretty cool. I really like the top, especially. I especially like the top. Pants are a bit raggedy, but I don't know. They've kind of got a cool style. I like the double belt. The double belt looks really nice. So this is Shilab now. And her funky pants. And I actually like that outfit quite a lot. Looks like quite cool. It's a cool spring look, actually. Alright then. Let's head off to the tree farm. Because we've done everything else for the day now. And go to the tree farm ruins. With my sword. Just in case. Hello, Ten. Oh, Builder, you're finally here. I've been waiting forever. Are you ready to head inside? Uh, let's do it. Okay, what have we got then? Level 46 centi dogs. They're no problem for me, especially with a helper. Trollcraft. Doing a lot better with my fighting skills now, have you noticed that? Craft that shoots bubbles at me, apparently. I haven't even lost any health yet. Look around. Oh, I lost some health now. Those sentinels are beasty, actually. The 
the patrol craft and the senti dogs are really i'm just like basically just picking up advanced engines you seeing the loot here Silicon ship sets, manganese steel bar just coming out of my ears. Amazing. I don't really need much more in the way of stamina, do I? Okay, well, we've had a look around, but there's no real things to do there. So I'm guessing this is maybe the blast door. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so what's this over here? Is this like something I can... No, it's not something I can use. Let's just go round these then. And beat up this senti dog a bit. Ten's a pretty good fighter. Right, is this the blast door then? Yes. Having a good look around. Oh, maybe this is it, actually. Oh, here we go. See this? We blasted through here. Okay. I'll jump on through then. So they blasted through a few doors. We can't go here. It won't open. We found another passage a little ways that way. Okay. This is pretty cool. Not many enemies around here though. I don't know if there's going to be a big boss or something at the end. Uh, two ways we can go left or right. Left is blocked, okay. So right it is. This is awesome. Got so many ruins open now. Hang on, this looks awful familiar. We've been here before. We're going around in circles. Right, let's have a look. We need to get down here. So if I go straight ahead, I don't think that's going to work. Things that look like ladders up there, but I don't think they are ladders. Okay, so what's an alternative way around then? Up there, up there, up there, maybe? Trust me to get lost. Okay, so we're going back through these little blast doors again. I think we went, we took a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, did I manage to go back that way or something? I don't even know what I did. This is all full of cool enemies and stuff. Ten is pretty badass. He is a very good person to have with me. I wonder what level 10 is. Maybe he's level 10. I don't think so, though. Because this is the second part of the ruins. Ooh, a first aid kit. Very handy. Jump on through! 
Aha, we're here. So this gate won't open at all. We used all the blast packs we could carry and still on the nada. There's a door leading to the power room over there, at least. That's what we think it is anyway. Maybe if you can get this puppy powered up, we can get in. Alright then. Let's go kill all the stuff in that room then. Ah! Oh, he's dead. Okay. 10 is actually pretty badass. Like I was saying. Go and take, take, uh, get him to take most of the damage, honestly. I've lost about 300 points of health. It's not too bad. I love the fact that he's, like, totally doing this with martial arts and he has a little martial arts headband. I'm really hoping I don't have to, like, uh, deal with him in the martial arts tournament because that could be pretty bad. All right, what now? Okay, so these machines seem to be generators and it seems like they're still work. They... That should be a they are there, but never mind. Still in working order. What about this gadget here? It looks bonked. Bonked. Is that a technical term? I think it's a transformer. I'm going to take it and have Petra have a look. Oh, and that was that. So we've got to find Petra. Okay, so broken transformer. Should have that in my inventory maybe somewhere. Goodness knows where. Broken Transformer. Woohoo. Doing so much today. Let's go and see Petra. Oh, she lives in here too. Cool. She's everywhere. She's very nosy as well as very bossy, clearly. And now, is this a gift for me? Aha, uh -huh, just kidding. What's up? Find the all source yet? I found this at one of the locations. It's preventing us from getting to the key. I think it's a broken transformer. You sure? It looks so small for a generator transformer. All right, I never say no to relics. I'll take a look and get back to you. I'm really excited that we're looking for the all source. Also a little scared. Okay, a lot scared. Wait for a message from Petra. Okay. And while I'm waiting for that, we can do the fishing contest. So that's going to be cool. That will be next episode, 100%. See. Now I'm like, what do I do with, what do I do for my thumbnail? Do I do hot tub with Dr. Zhu? Or do I do standing in front of the ruins in my cool new uniform? <sighs> decisions, decisions. I don't know, it's, it looks so cool. Um, I imagine there's a hat at some point that I will get to go with this outfit, but I just haven't found it yet. Hmm, what am I gonna do now? we we'll sit and wait for this message. I've already done my commission for the day. Should have taken a harder one, shouldn't I? So we can either go and do a bit of ruin diving so that we can have, like, for the upcoming fights, we can have more soldiers. Because that would be rather useful. Oh, I know what we can do. We've only just come from down there, actually. But I'm going to go back. Because we've still got monster toy to put in the museum. This is the thing we need to do. To be fair, I do go police quite quickly. It's not as bad as when it used to be like, take three lots of stamina to run this distance. It was like, no. That would be the research center. This would be the museum, she lab. Okay, so I think Monster Toy is going to go in here on this particular shelf next to the owl clock. I don't know if I'll get any achievements for like getting all of the uh, relics or whether I need to get the books before I get any achievements or whether there are any achievements connected to this at all. Not so far. Okay. Extra rep points is good though. Oh, cool. The hoolers are in here. They might look at one of my relics. 
Seems as I donated everything to the museum. That's the way I roll. So it's either do we dig up more soldier relics or do we go to Django's and get books? I think soldier relics is going to be more useful for what's coming up. Extra attack is never going to be a bad thing. So the first thing I want to do is to pop over to the machine and see if I've got any extra soldier bits that I can put together. We're missing like one piece on all of them. Yes, except for soldier with lance where we're missing loads of pieces. So I definitely need to go digging before I can make any more. And like I said, I was looking at last time when we passed out in the middle of looking at the wiki, there's quite a few different things that will give me uh, extra attack. So I shouldn't worry too much about that. I could have taken the DD up here. Arlo, I've got a few like spare swords in my inventory. Do you want one? At night it was tough. I should get my hands on some corruptive tech. Might even play the field a bit. There you go. That's another 11 points with you, which is always handy. Gonna reset the ruin. I'm gonna head on in. Okay, let's have a little scan around. So, parts, rackets, power lamp, soldier with axe, piece four. And like I say, I'm going to dig up pretty much any pieces that I find of anything because I want quite a few soldiers. I think I need another, like, eight or so of them. Every one I get gives me an extra ten attack. Very, very useful. And a good little thing to do while I'm just waiting, while I'm between jobs, you know. I did quite a lot today. I managed to get in a whole date. Power lamp. Is power lamp one that gives attack? I think it might be. So I might start picking up pieces of the power lamp as well. It's not going to hurt. Soldiers need to give the most attack out of anything, though. They give plus 10. The, the most I've seen on anything else is plus 8. But it's still worth getting if I can. Oh, magic lamp and power lamp. Different things. There's just so many different relics, aren't there? Get a magic lamp. Oh, I hate it when stuff's in the way, like this. So annoying. It's really hard to get out as well. Come on. Come on. Get out. It's quite good. I've actually got a reasonable amount of time to do this. Like, I, I had a really efficient day. Soldier with axe, piece four. Oh man, I'm back down here again. I'll see if I can find anything from down here that I could dig to. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. Parts boxes. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. No. Power lamp piece, I suppose. Soldier with blade, piece five. Okay, that sounds good to me. I have a feeling I'm only getting pieces that I've had before, though. So 
Hold the receptor piece five. Yeah, we'll go for that. 40 meters away, though. That's quite a dig. Could have had so much metal in this time. It's literally by the walls of the mine. That's literally like the end. You could actually dig an entire mine out. Soldier with Lance. We're finding a decent amount of them. They're just all miles away. Good job I have good stamina. I'll grab that box if I'm going past it, you know. To see if any of these are actually going to um, translate into completed soldier relics. Cat made statue, soldier with blade piece three, 20 meters away. I may not be able to make that. I do have fruit salad on me if I'm desperate though. Have many left. I might need to make some more salad sauce then soon. Gotcha. I think that that is me done actually. I'm totally out of stamina. So we'll go back. We'll see how many pieces we can put together. And then I'm probably going to go to bed. Unless I can get, um, well, I was going to say maybe if I can hand out presents for the rest of the day, but I don't know about that. Oh, Sanmore, I actually have some fruit salad for you, so there you go. Because why not? Nora, I've got lemonade. Gifting spree! Woohoo! Nora is my friend. Mint, would you like some roses? Mint's a hard one. Hey, don't you ignore me. A hard one to get to like me. Actually, I don't know how far I managed to get with Mint. He's one of the ones that's lower down, to be honest. Oh, he is my friend. Okay, just about. Alice is Alice should be way more my friend because she likes crystal necklaces and they're really not hard to get anymore. Molly, Dolly and Polly I really should be better friends with as well because they just like fruit tarts and apricot dried apricots. No reason not to be friends with them. Same with oaks. Same with scraps really. I've got dog food pretty much in my inventory and I'm still not giving it to scraps. Which is ridiculous. Oh, Phyllis, I don't have any necklaces for you. Maybe that's what I should do for the rest of the day, is sit and make crystal necklaces and topaz necklaces. So that I actually have gifts for people that like those things. And I'm not going to call them sapphire necklaces, even if the game does. They are topaz necklaces. I'll make as many as I can. I've got a lot of cocoons, which is great, so I can make a load of crystal necklaces as well. Make about 20 of them. I'll just give one to Alice every time I see her. I'll give one to Lucy every time I see her. They'll soon be my friends. It was always the cocoons. It was always I couldn't be bothered to go up the tree farm and kick the cocoons. So having those there now is amazing. So worth it. I can't make many desk lamps anymore. Oops. Still have some dark coffee tables. I could make a few tea tables. Because Isaac still needs a bit of work. A few wooden buckets wouldn't hurt. Oh, I, I already have a load. Okay, no, that's fine then. Just trying to make a few things for people, you know? 
But yeah, I think for once, I'm actually going to give Shelab an early night. Because she's out of stamina. She's done loads of stuff today. I could interact with you guys, couldn't I, before bed. I think I might have interacted with Scraps this morning. I can't remember. I'll, I'll check now. So there we are, that is me gone to sleep. And today is the day of the fishing festival, so I'm going to have to go and see about that next episode. But that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more of my time at Porsche, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome. <laughs>